Hey everyone, Techni here with a real quick headset comparison of the newly released Turtle Beach wireless headsets, the 600 Gen 2 and then the 700 Gen 2. And I believe I just pointed at the wrong one whenever I said the model name. But before we get into this comparison right here, have you all seen the new Techni merch? I mean, we're dropping all sorts of designs constantly there. This is one of their newer ones, you know, WASD, like whenever you're gaming on your keyboard. Multiple colors you can get in as well. And there's some other awesome designs on there also. You need to go check them out. Keepnerd.com, links right down in the description. Best pick one up. Now, one other quick side note here. Again, we are talking about the Xbox versions right here, but you can take this right in line with the PlayStation version, the PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5. I did review the 600 Gen 2s, the PlayStation version. And just to let you know, as far as comfort, build, sound, they are spot on the exact same. The only difference with the PlayStation version is you're gonna be using a dongle. My light just fell over. So again, even though we're talking Xbox version here, you can take this right in line with the PlayStation version as well. But anyways, let's go on and dive right into this comparison here and you all know where we need to start, right? Because no matter how good they sound or how great of a deal they are, if they're not stinking cozy, we're gonna take them right off. So first thing as far as comfort, right out of the box, a big difference you're gonna notice right here are these ear cushions on the headsets. Talking about the 600 Gen 2, you got that cloth on the outside right there, pleather line on the inside to lock in some that sound they're plenty of wide and deep but again you got that goofy shape right there and they tend to you got to like lock your ears into them you know what I mean they don't just slide in there like I stated in my original review my ears don't touch the inside but they tend to get pinched at the top just a little bit again I kind of got to wiggle the headset around to get my ears to lock in there swing it right over to the 700 Gen 2s uh, number one, you still have that goofy shape, but again, these don't roll in. As you can see, they're sewn on the sides, inside, and then the top, so they're squared off. My ears fit fantastic in these guys, but also, pleather line on the outside, nice sports material on the top, and then the inside with that cooling gel in there, and let me tell you what these things are so stinking cozy. They are plush, they are soft, my ears fit in there perfectly fine, and every time I put these on, it's like I got an ice pack against my head. Hot tamale, these ear cushions are a dream. Now, as far as the headbands on both headsets, they are the exact same. They got this memory cushion feel in there, pleather across the whole thing, both of them incredibly cozy. So now when we take both headsets and actually put them on our head, let's start with the 600s over here. Definitely a medium clamp of force. Talking about those ear cushions, they're not firm by any means, but they're also not mushy either, you know what I mean? You definitely feel them on your head a little bit more, maybe pressing down towards the bottom a little bit, I guess, depending on how you have them adjusted here, you know what I mean? Again, they're not uncomfortable, but they're not like these pillows on your head by any mean, you know? Medium clamp of force for sure. Coming over here to the 700s, put these guys on and whew, I'm just telling you what, like uh, these ear cushions, uh, the clamp of force, definitely the same clamp of force over here. I put it right at that medium, but when you combine it with these ear cushions and they just sink, right? They're so plush. Like my ears are cool and cozy right now, right? But they're so plush, it just sinks into your head. And it is an absolute dream. I mean, it is so stinking cozy when you put these on. Like, whew, I wanna put them back on my head. So as far as comfort, I mean, the 700s take a win by a long shot. That's not saying the 600s are uncomfortable, I mean. So don't, don't think I'm saying that right here. But again, putting them both on my head, one to one, clear as day 700s. Now let's go ahead and talk about the build between both headsets here. They're both all plastic pretty much, except on the 700s you got that metal reinforced headband right there. And talking about that, well the 700s have a bigger battery, which we'll get into later compared to the 600s, but you can tell the 700s are a little bit heavier than the 600s. Not a drastic amount by any means, but you can tell it. But again, when you combine with the 700s with those plush ear cushions and everything, it just works out perfect and they feel incredible on your head. Again, going to the 600s, over here, the headset is completely plastic, but very durable. I can twist it up right here. I don't really get worried about it by any means, stretching it out. Now on the 700s, again, since we're metal reinforced up there, I kind of want to stop when I start twisting it and then when I stretch it out there, just because it gets a little bit firmer. I'm not worried about it, but again, it just gets a little bit firmer there. Now, as far as adjustability on both headsets, plenty of adjust here. Full swivel, a little bit forward, little back, ear cushions come in and out. You got the adjustment up on the headband there, which locks into place really nice. Again, that goes on both headsets right here. Plenty of swivel. Again, ear cushions in and out, and then whenever you adjust it, it really locks into place, so it's not gonna budge on you mid-game. 
plenty of adjustability on both headsets to fit any head shape. All right, so now let's get into features and functions. There's actually quite a few different things right here. When we look at the back left ear cup of both headsets, first off, we're gonna have our volume wheel. They roll to the top, bottom out, roll to the bottom, and then they stop right there. And then they're quite firm. So if you're laying back in a chair or something, they're not gonna accidentally move on you. Really nice right there. Sliding right down on the 600, you have your mic monitoring volume, which is how much you're gonna hear yourself in the headset through your mic. On the 700, the bottom wheel right here is actually your chat volume in the game to control your mic monitor on the 700s you have to go into the turtle beach app to adjust that sliding right down you have the mode button on the 600s the mode button you can cycle through four settings right there it's pretty much like a bass a bass and treble then a treble mode and then superhuman hearing on the 700s you have two modes right there it's gonna be the turtle beach signature sound and then the superhuman hearing again on the 700s you can go into the app and adjust that right there out of the box you just have the two controls right below that we have our power button and then we start getting into a few different things right here on the 700 you have your bluetooth button right here which you can pair up to a phone or any bluetooth device right below that you have your pair button both of these headsets they pair up just like an xbox controller hold that button down just like you do on an xbox controller hold it on your system bam instantly pairs up and then they charge by USB-C. Now, as far as battery life on both of the headsets here, on the 700s, you get up to 20 hours of battery life. On the 600s, you get up to 15 hours. Again, when we say up to, again, that's gonna depend on how loud you're playing them and then the feature you're using, especially talking about the 700s here. If you got the Bluetooth active and you know what other kind of features, and if you're running two things at the same time or whatnot, that'll drain your battery. As far as my time using them both for an extensive amount of time, flip-flop for multiple devices, again, for multiple time, for my first test and second test here they've never died on me again for my wireless stuff i just plug them in at night charge them so i'm good to go the next day and i never had any issues all right so let me touch on that a little bit since we just talked about features and functions number one focusing more or less on the 700s over here talking about that bluetooth button and you caught me saying when it pairs up to the app a lot and you can control a lot of stuff in the app unfortunately for me trying multiple times multiple devices android devices apple devices phones tablets whatever I could not get the 700s to pair up to the app. They do pair up to my phone or any device, a Mac product, whatever, by Bluetooth, perfectly fine and instantly. But for some odd reason, it just wouldn't register with the app right there. And again, I tried multiple ways. Other people in comments give me tips and I just, it, it wouldn't work for me. And I also read the comments on like the app store and stuff and tons of other people have that issue as well. So. I hope that does get updated in a firmware update because again, you're losing a lot of features with the 700 there. Again, being able to adjust the uh, button to whatever sound signature you want, you know what I mean? And then being able to adjust the mic monitoring and all sorts of other cool stuff in the app. So again, it's kind of a stinker that you're missing that stuff right now. Again, if you've gotten it to work, please let me know that in the comments how you got it to work because I've tried everything and it's just not syncing up for me. Now also talking about syncing them up and pairing them up to your console. Like I talked about holding that button, pairing it up just like you hold the button on the console like a controller, right? Same thing with the PC, but with the PC you need to buy that Xbox dongle. Of course you can sync it up by Bluetooth, but again gaming or watching shows with Bluetooth, no matter what Bluetooth device you, you use, you know, there's an absolute pinch of delay. Some people can't notice it. Me personally, I can notice it. Again, it's an absolute pinch and it just drives me stinking crazy. So again, for pairing these guys up to a PC, you're gonna wanna get that Xbox dongle. I believe it's like 20 bucks or something like that. Same thing you use to pair up an Xbox controller to a PC. All right, so now let's go and talk about the sound on these two headsets here. Again, using them on Xbox, PC, and I also did do quite a bit of mobile gaming with the 700s over here via Bluetooth on my phone. And talking about the delay of Bluetooth again, Mobile gaming, there's usually a delay in it anyway, so again, it didn't really affect me too much there. But again, majority of my time, Xbox, PC, playing games, watching videos, and listening to a lot of music with them. So first off, both of these headsets are using 50 millimeter drivers. The 700s have a frequency range of 20 to 22,000. The 600s have a frequency range of 20 to 20,000. So talking about that difference right there, the 22,000 on the 700s, you might think, oh, hey, the highs are a little more potent there. It, they're really not. Again, listening to both of them, and I was going game to game, round to round, flopping headsets right here. They sound a spitting image, a T, the exact same, and they sound good. So when I talk sound between both of these headsets, again, I'm talking on both of them here. Again, they sound a spitting image, 
to a T the exact same right here. So whenever, again, I'm talking about these sounds, it's across both of them. And like I stated, they sound good. The bass is hitting and it is crisp. It is just a solid hit of bass. It's not this muddy, rumbly, distant, echoey bass, you know what I mean? We've, we've tested a few headsets like that, kind of like mid-driven bass, you know what I mean? This is actually bass bass and it sounds good. It's immersive, it's deep, but not overtaking anything. The mids are balanced out right here, just perfect. Again, sometimes you have an overdrawn mid headset, you know what I mean? It just starts sounding, again, just a little bit full in the middle, kind of soft, I guess I would explain it, you know? Again, where it tries to round out that bass a little bit more and kind of reduce that hit. You did not get that here. Again, you had your bass, the mids were doing its thing, and then the highs were up here, just very crispy and just sharp. Again, with the gunshots, footsteps, and everything. And when you took it all and just compiled it together, it was fantastic in every single you know, type of game. I play a lot of Dauntless, Insurgency Sandstorm lately, and then uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And across all of them right there, I mean, they sounded great. Insurgency Sandstorm, more competitive, footstep-driven, environment-driven, and everything, right? What a stinking blast with these guys. Going into Dauntless, you know, tail slapping, beast jumping and stuff. They were shaking and they were absolutely immersive. Call of Duty, is everything's going on, you know what I mean? And it worked out with these things. Nothing was overtaking anything. Very immersive, nice bass, nice footsteps and everything. Absolute blast and sound across both of these. And again, they both sound 100% the exact same. All right, so this is a mic test for the Turtle Beach Style 700 Gen 2s. As you see, the microphone is attached. It is flip down to activate, flip up to mute. Cool thing about this microphone is you only have to flip it up halfway to mute. You don't have to flip it all the way up into there. Let's go on and try this right now, see if we get any noise. So as you see, when I flip it up to mute, you get that slight little scratch right there. But the cool thing about it, whenever you flip it up to mute, you get like a high tone. Then when you flip it down, you get a low tone beep in the headset, a little notification to let you know, hey, it is mute. And then now it's active because it's really cool. The microphone's not like right in your face. It's kind of off to the side, which I really love. Again, so you don't got this big old thing right in your face. The other cool thing about this microphone, you can tilt it in just a little bit. We're tilted in right now. Not sure if it sounds much different. I'm going to go ahead and pull it back out right there. But again, as far as the microphone, I think it's pretty stinking good. Let's go on and check out the 600s. All right, so this is a microphone test on the Turtle B 600 Gen 2s right here. Again, flip down to activate, flip up to mute. You can flip it up halfway to mute. Let's see if we get that scratchy noise in this one as well. So it looks like we do. Again, it's in there quite firm, but it is nice because again, it's going to hold its position when it goes into mute. Again, you can flip it all the way up if you want, but you only have to go halfway to mute it right there. And again, this one does tilt in as well. We are tilted in right now just to see if it sounds any different. And now I tilted it back out to see how we sound right there. By the way, whenever you flip it up to mute and flip it down to activate, you also get that tone in this headset as well. All right. So lastly here, and maybe the most important and hardest decision for you between these headsets is the price. Talking about the 600s coming in at 99 the 700 is coming in at 150. So there's only, let me say that lightly right there, right? There's only $50 difference. And don't get me wrong, I appreciate the dollar, right? $50 isn't like cheap by any means. But again, we're talking about a headset, something you're using every day for multiple hours of the day. You want that right device for you, you know what I mean? So again, that's kind of what I wanted to do right here is just kind of compile all this together and help you decide which one you would need. For me, I would need the 700s. Why? Because of that Bluetooth right there. My, I have a son that's in school, right? And if I'm over here gaming, I don't wanna miss a phone call from the teacher or something happens, something like that, right? Because I'm into a game. I can stick my phone right up to the 700s, get my phone call, answer it through there, and again, still be aware of the outside world as well as my game. 600s don't have that, I'm just into my game. So again, if you don't need that Bluetooth or something like that, you listen to music in the background or have a phone call, you don't need that feature. You'll be perfectly fine with the 600s. Now, the biggest difference between both of them, just as is as a headset, minus features or anything, is gonna be the comfort, which is all goes into play with the ear cushions right here. I stink and love the cushions on the 700s. They are stinking amazing. Not saying the 600s are uncomfortable, but there's a clear as day difference right here. And yes, the 700s are more cozy, but you're talking 99 bucks for an absolutely solid, fantastic wireless headset here with awesome sound, a great build, pretty stinking good comfort here too, you know? It's it's, it's hard saying pretty good, because again, I'm comparing to something that's like super cozy over here, you know what I mean? So it makes it, makes it sound like I'm trashing them, but I'm not by any means. I really think you'll be happy with either of them, but again, compile it all together and think about it. Is that $50 gonna justify it over here? If you don't need that Bluetooth, is it gonna justify 50 bucks just for the different ear cushions? That's up to you, you know what I mean? Are they more cozy? Yes. 
But if you don't need all that stuff, heck, 100 bucks, you got a complete win right here. And also, if you want any more info on either of these headsets here, again, I did do standalone reviews on them, and I did do the standalone review of the 600 to PlayStation version. Just if you are curious, again, they're pretty much the exact same minus the dongle, but if you wanted any more information, I did review those as well. Links right down in the description. But hey, let me know what you think about the newly released Turtle Beach headsets down in the comments here. Do you use either of them, and what do you think about them? Do you like the upgrades? I used to use the uh, 700s, the older version as well, and I absolutely love this upgrade here. I think it's a great upgrade, but please do let me know down in the comments what you think about the two. But hey, thank you so much for stopping by and watching my review on the newly released Turtle Beach Gen 2 headsets here. I hope I answered some questions if you were looking into these headsets, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, Hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos. And I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye now.